All abominations must leave my children's homes. All abominations must leave my children's homes and hearts, no matter how small or insignificant you may think it to be. Nothing of this world should be found on you and in your homes, for my judgments are falling, and the destroyer will sweep through the earth to destroy anything that is not of me or does not resemble me. The time you cut your ties with the world is now. You must be separate from the world and everything in it. You are not of the world, and the world should not be found in you, in any form or shape. Throw away all that is not of me from your homes, artifacts, games, worldly music and movies, worldly clothes, jewelry and fashionable items, headgear, weaves, wigs, human hair, etc., makeup, and shoes that make you walk haughtily. I want nothing of this world or new. Pray to my Holy Spirit and he will direct you on what to remove from your homes and from yourselves and your children. My children put blood on their doorposts and the destroyer passed over them. The blood was my son's sacrifice on the cross for you. Yes, it covers you and protects you, but it is not a cover for you to hide under and sneak in the things of the world and think it okay. I am not okay with it. Babylon is not of my kingdom, and you shall take none of what belongs to Babylon. What are you watching, reading, and listening to, even in the cover of darkness or when you are alone? You think no one sees you, and it becomes your dirty little secret. I the Lord sees all, for darkness is as night to me. What memories of old stay linger in your heart, and you longingly look back at them. Didn't you see what happened to Lord's wife, when she longed for what was not to be? This world and all its filth is under my judgment and to look back to it with longing in your heart will turn you away from me into a pillar of salt. To whom do you belong? The world and all that is in it and of it, including people, are idols in my eyes that you are holding on to and looking to. They cannot help you nor hear you when you call upon them. You must turn away from all these things for soon they will be no more. I purchased you at a very precious, precious cost, for sin to continue to be a part of you. You continue to hold on to anger and forgiveness, jealousy, gossip and slander, hate, and all of the evil spoken of in my word. Judgment is coming, and it will be attracted by these abominations I'm talking about and you will be judged harshly. Repent now and remove all abominations from your homes and your lives. The rubber is finally meeting the road, and you will not survive it. I tell you now so that you may repent. You can no longer be a friend of the world and continue to call yourself my child. My children walk in holiness and righteousness, and the enemy can lay no claim over them. All abominations belong to the enemy, and he is accusing you daily before my courts. What do you think will happen when judgment comes to your home? Anything not of me will not pass the test and will be judged. My son does not stand in defense of deviant hearts that refuse to repent, but those with broken and contrite hearts that bow before me in humility crying for mercy. Such I can never turn away, and my grace will envelop them. Turn away from your wicked ways, humble yourselves and pray, and I will hear from heaven. Do not desire to fall into my hands for judgment. I am just and righteous, and I will do so with fairness. I repeat, cut off all ties you have with this wicked generation and I will be with you and cover you. Read how the saints of old 
left and gave up everything for my sake. They suffered for my name and they never looked back. And now they are happy with me, finally receiving what they saw from a distance. Your faith must be full in this time to stand what is coming. Pray for this full measure of faith.